uh, I would like to highlight uh, the contribution of my uh, colleagues and my supervisors. So let's start. Uh, most part of the articles in scientific scientific articles has tables as their principal data source. How to show um, to show everything people use. So uh, the focus of our work today is show a little bit about how to generalize this kind of information in an ontological side of view. So here we can see uh, geographic locations, arthropods. It's like a, a table explaining how uh, the human uses uh, infections uh, are distribute, distributed in many countries of the world by its vectors, the infectant uh, insects, and their related pathogens. So uh, the tabular representation is the commonest format of representation of structured data in scientific publications. Uh, most part of these tables has uh, numeric content or even text textual content. And my focus today is about textual content, as it makes references to individuals and also classes. And uh, these tables has an intrinsic semantics, but it's, however, hidden, uh, had a written. So uh, a proper uh, interpretation of these tables requires in the background knowledge of the person who is reading it. So our hypothesis is that tables partially contains ontological uh, information and we are using it to populate ontologies by means of extracting and adding new classes and axioms to, to them. So our use case is the NTDO, the Neglected Trope of this Ontology which is based on biotop and upper domain ontology for biomedicine. And NTDO aims at representing vector-borne diseases, uh, complex life cycles, and uh, organisms, and the relation among them. Uh, and also geographic locations. So our use case, our aim on building this ontologies is to query epidemiological data and produce some health policy support and something like that. And once again, uh, the table, our focus, and I will use this to explain everything. So here we can see the geographic location and its respective countries, which one that an transmission uh, takes place with its respective vector, it's an insect that carries the pathogen and infect an human host in this case. And this human can develop a disease promoted exclusively by the infection of a set of Leishmania as species. So uh, following this table, we can see that this geographic regions uh, represents individuals, the countries mainly, and the vectors, the arthropods, in this case the insects, represents classes, the hosts, patients, and the pathogen represents classes of microorganisms, and the pathological process is classes of diseases. In As we saw here, uh, in each cell we can see more than one entry even for the vector or diseases or countries whatever so and in our case each row it's a possible transmission pattern as it has as it describes the interaction between uh, the vector the pathogen the host in a specific country so uh, 
here is the beginning of our pattern. So uh, we transformed the later table in this one, generalization, and we used it to define our pattern, describing that the organisms has a location, the, part, the transmission has an agent, and in this uh, transmission event has a, a passive particip participant. And everything was done using uh, biotop uh, relations. Has, has locus for locations, for has agent for agents, and has patient for the passive participant. So uh, here the whole pattern here, uh, representation of the disjunction of each transmission. Uh, and the value, the representation of the, the equivalence of each transmission. Uh, it defines that each one has agent sum vector and has local some geographic location and has patient some pathogen which has local some host in this case describing that the pathogen must be inside the host and oh, and here in value restrictions uh, describing that all the agent is vectors all locus is geographic locations and its complements and all patients in this transfers are pathogens and all causes a specific disease. In our case, we are, we are talking about leishmaniasis. And so we generated uh, all these classes uh, by means of a VBA script. It's quite simple and generate a null file for us. So we also need some additional axioms for a better description of our, uh, our pattern. This one, the first one, uh, we are using reification for geographic locations to maintain the reasoning over uh, geographic entities on T-Box. So uh, it's quite, it's better for uh, complexity on computational side of view. So uh, GLOC, it's equivalent to geographic location and has locus values geom. It means that, that, for example, Brazil location has all entities that's located in Brazil. So. Uh, we need also another uh, description f to define dispositions and manifestations from when people has the disposition and the moment they uh, exhibit it with a manifestation from a disposition to a pathological process. So uh, to test our approach, we we wrote some competency questions, but I will show only three in case of time. So the first one is what pathogen can be transmitted by a given vector in a geographic location? It's, I want to retrieve a, a list mainly of which pathogen can I uh, retrieve specifically from a given geographic location. So uh, we create this whole sentence, protist and not patient in some pathogen transfer, and has local some Guadalupe location, and has agent on the only Lutzel melange palpis. Uh, this negation will give us some all the classes that cannot participate in, in a transfer in Guadalupe. So the complement of this set of classes will give us the right answer. As saw in the table that I showed a few moments ago, Leishmanias Chagazi is related to a transfer only in Guadalupe location by Lutzel Melange Palpis. So another competency question is 
can disease X be transmitted by some vector in a given geographic location Z? So uh, here I want I used a wrong statement about uh, Mexico location. For example, I inserted Mexico location and also a uh, wrong disease, which are which is not related by the literature that occurs in this place. So as as expected. Uh, it was unsatisfiable. The third and last one is what kind of disease can be transmitted in a given geographic location? So in this case I want to know which kind of pathological process can happen in each geographic location by its transfer process. <coughs> so uh, as the first competition question that I showed uh, a pathological process and not caused by protist and patient in some pathogen transfer by vector and has local some per location. In this case, I want to retrieve all pathological process that happens in per location and is re related by specific by uh, Leishmaniasis, of course. So, when negated the first sentence, it gives us what cannot be the right pathological process, and so we, the complement of these two disease classes, we gave us the two right answers. So, let me conclude. And so, the legacy information extracted from tables can directly be transformed in a formal ontology and ODL has sufficient enough power to represent mo moderately complex biological situations. Our approach is dependent on principal ontological foundations like the rigid set of properties from Biotop and the closed word interpretation of the table content was required to create uh, our patterns. So we used DL queries instead of RDF based spark queries because it's uh, simple than creating and supports, supports reasoning over taxonomies and transitive relations. We did also queries from subclass retrieval and sat satisfiability tests and also use it broadly ODL constructors, constructors like disjunctions, negations, values restrictions, and complex class definitions. But some known def limitations of our approach is the numeric content that it's a rudimentary represented by all data properties, probabilistics, associations, and default expression, default expressions. Also, another known limitation is scalability of when we use expressive and rich DL description logics. And also, if we find that tools, tools for complex DL queries, even being supported by Protege, could be improved for end users, like an end friendly user interface or something like that. And I would like to say thank you all for your attention. And this work was supported by these institutions. Thanks.